After decades of failure, the results announced today, while modest, offer hope that it's possible to develop a vaccine to protect against HIV. Even though we don't have what I call an end game vaccine, we have an important bit of information that we can build upon. By combining two vaccines that had previously failed alone, researchers were surprised to find some people were protected from the virus. Over 8,000 heterosexuals in Thailand received the vaccine, and roughly the same amount received placebo. 74 people who did not get the vaccine became infected with HIV, while 51 people in the vaccinated group became HIV positive. So the vaccine appears to have reduced the risk of catching the virus by 31 percent. It isn't overwhelming, but it's extremely important because it's the first time we've ever seen anything like this. Scientists typically look for about 80 percent effectiveness with a vaccine, but say this is an important step forward. About every nine and a half minutes, another American becomes infected with HIV. But they also stress preventing HIV will take more than a vaccine. But combining a vaccine with other interventions, such as the approach we've always had, ABC, abstinence, be faithful, and condoms, can we put it all together in a package and really make some progress in preventing HIV infection? It's important to note the drug maker is not seeking FDA approval for this vaccine, Katie. Ethically, how do you conduct a clinical trial like this without putting people at risk for HIV or AIDS? Well, first of all, before the trial, the participants were counseled extensively on the importance of safe sex and avoiding intravenous drug use. And then they were set off to live their lives for three years. Because HIV is so prevalent in Thailand, a certain number were exposed. However, those who were diagnosed as having become HIV positive during the course of the study were offered free access to treatment. All right, it's really fascinating. Dr. Ashton, Jennifer, thanks so much.